Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beyond Crazy. 7. Janet Love In April 1986, 32-year-old Janet Love was found raped and murdered in her Bedford, Texas apartment. She died of a gunshot wound to the head. In the 36 years since, the case was passed to many detectives, all to no avail. The case went cold. However, in 2020, Bedford Police Sergeant Brett Bowen sent DNA from Love's sexual assault for advanced DNA testing and forensic genealogy. The DNA was eventually matched to one, Ray Champa, who at the time of the murder was Love's 19-year-old neighbor. While Champa died in 2021, just nine months before being identified, police and the FBI are looking into the possibility that Champa is connected to other crimes in other states. 6. Robert Reed Elkhart County, Indiana is where, in May 2002, Robert Reed was found robbed and murdered inside his residence. Blood pulled around his misshapen head, with his neck and head sustaining multiple injuries. Despite the abundance of blood at the scene, none of the DNA could be conclusively linked to anyone other than the victim. The case was revived in 2021 when Sergeant Greg Carter of the Elkhart County Police noticed a possible piece of DNA evidence that was missed, a spot of blood on the victim's shirt that seemed to suggest the culprit stood over the body and blood on the shirt as he ransacked the victim's pockets. The results came back to match a man named Marcus Love. Upon further testing, Love's blood was found to be mixed in with other samples of Reed's blood taken from the scene of the murder. It is unclear how Love actually came into contact with Reed. Regardless, Love was arrested for the murder of Robert Reed in 2022 based on the DNA evidence. Number 5. Jessica Bagan Jessica Bagan, a 17-year-old from Sitka, Alaska, disappeared in early May 1996. She was found two days later, sexually assaulted and strangled. A man confessed to the crime shortly after. Due to a lack of physical evidence, however, this unknown man was acquitted of the crime. The case went cold after that. In February 2019, DNA from Bagan's clothes and body was submitted to a public genealogy database after. Previous attempts to match the DNA had been unsuccessful. A man named Steve Branch was identified as a person of interest. After being interviewed by troopers in his Arkansas home in early August 2020, Branch died by suicide. A warrant was issued to obtain Branch's DNA upon his autopsy. The DNA obtained from Branch's remains was confirmed to be a match to the DNA on Bagan's body. Number 4. Maurice Chivarella Nine-year-old Maurice Chivarella was walking to school in March 1964 when she was kidnapped. The Hazleton, Pennsylvania girl was found later the same afternoon, raped and strangled. Throughout the years, more than 230 members of the Pennsylvania State Police worked on the case to no avail. The case was revived in 2020 with new DNA technology and the help of Eric Schubert, an expert in genetic genealogy. The extensive family tree Schubert put together led investigators to James Forte, who had a record of violent sexual assault. Because Forte had been dead since 1980, DNA was taken from his exhumed body. Forte's DNA was a match to genetic material found on the victim's jacket. Number 3. Joette Smith In late March 1983, the body of Joette Smith was found floating in the San Lorenzo River. The subsequent investigation led Santa Cruz County Police to a man named Eric Drummond, who had reportedly previously asked Smith on a date and was declined. He was identified as a suspect five years after Smith was found, but with no physical evidence to tie him to the murder. He was never arrested. Physical evidence was able to close the deal in 2022. DNA had been found on Smith's clothing at the time of her murder, but it was only recently that new advances in technology allowed the sample to be tested and matched. The DNA profile matched Eric Drummond. Before Drummond could be arrested, he died by suicide. Number 2. Nadine Major. Nadine Major was a Willoughby, Ohio woman who was found murdered in January 1980. The 25-year-old was stabbed over 40 times with her infant son in the room. Blood evidence believed to be the killer's was found on the victim's clothing but remained unidentified. That is until 2022 when police identified a suspect. Through further testing and genealogical research, the blood on Madger's clothing was identified as matching the DNA of one Stephen Simcack. Unfortunately, Simcack will never be tried for the death of Madger as he died in 2018. Number 1. Lindy Beichler 
In December 1975, a 19-year-old Lindy Beckler was murdered in her Lancaster, Pennsylvania apartment. She was stabbed 19 times and prosecutors say evidence at the scene suggested a sexual motive. Unfortunately, no substantial leads were obtained in the case, and Bachelor's murder went cold. Bachelor's case was revived in 2019 when prosecutors released composite images of a man whose DNA was supposedly left at the scene. DNA genealogy was used to compare the sample to public databases to find familial matches. These familial matches led police to David Sinopoli, one of Beichler's neighbors at the time. A direct sample of Sinopoli's DNA was obtained and matched to the sample found at the murder scene. He was arrested in July 2022. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.